Oh, and you'll also appreciate the fact that we have never ever brought you a vessel this large. This is oval in shape. It is eight quarts. It's a lidded Dutch oven and we've got gorgeous colors. But I will tell you already nearly 100 have been ordered since the beginning of the show. We don't have many of any color to go around and I want you to take advantage of this because at lucrecet.com you would pay $400 for this vessel. We've got it at $299.98. We are $100 and two pennies less. We're also on easy pay, all six of them, and our shipping and handling is absolutely free. Now, Cerise is the color I collect and many of you love as well. Cerise is the French word for cherry. So if you have any pieces in Le Creuset cherry, the Cerise is the same color. This one is going to be very popular, I am sure. This one is Marseille. Marseille is uh, named after the southern port city in France. This is called marine blue and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that ombre effect where it's darker down below and then gets lighter blue as you had your, make your way up. The one in the middle is called Caribbean. Caribbean, always a popular choice in Le Creuset on QVC. Beside that is the bright, sunshiny Soleil. Soleil is our most limited choice, fewer than 150. Down below is Cassis. This one is Cassis. Only 150 of those to go around. This color is called Oyster. Fewer than 200. And finally, the color that started it all at Le Creuset is Flame and fewer than 200. These are six easy payments, free shipping and handling. We are over $100 less than LeCreuset.com. Chef Nate Collier's back with us, sir. David, great to it's be here. It's comfort food day. It's 24 hour cook event. Would this be good for comfort food? This would be so good for comfort food, David. <laughs> and I love these cook events. There's so much going on. And that's what this vessel's all about too, because it's eight quarts. You can do so much in this. Not only the capacity, David, but the versatility. You can do everything in this. We're gonna show stews, deep fries, soups, and comfort food. Talk about beef stew, eight quarts of beef stew. And really, I mean, if you get down here and look at this, the browning on this meat that you can see in there, that's the secret to a flavorful beef stew, David. If you've ever had one that's thin and watery, you didn't sear the meat properly. So the cast right. iron, nothing retains heat like cast iron. There might what be did Julia used to say about her Bouffe Bourguignon? Pat the meat dry right. so it will brown more thoroughly. And that's a great yeah. tip, David. You pat it dry and don't move it until it releases from the pan. See how that piece came right off of our beautiful enamel coating? That is how you know it's done. You've got that perfect brown flavor on there. And then once you've developed that flavor, David, you need to get it off the bottom of the pan. So this vessel is perfect because the, the cast iron retains the heat. That. Thank you, David. The cast iron retains the heat, which gives you that beautiful, beautiful brown flavor. And that's gonna give you all that delicious, delicious brown fawn. We're gonna get some veggies down in there. You want those to brown a little bit too. Little bit of tomato paste. And David, if you wouldn't mind picking up that red wine. Red wine, of course. Now gonna this go right is going to be great because watch what happens here when I pour the red wine in the bottom of that hot pan. It's going to start to bubble and what Chef's going to do is he's going to scrape all those bits off the bottom. Those and little bits are all full of flavor. And you can see here, you already see to that beautiful sand enamel, everything is coming off the bottom, David. And so all that flavor, a couple things. One, it's going to end up in your stew, which is delicious. Mm. And two, you don't have to worry about cleaning it or washing it later. So this uh, Licorice cast iron is perfect for these stews because the cast iron retains the heat to develop that flavor. Now some beef broth. And that beautiful enamel is what releases the flavor back into the stew. You really cannot do this with any other cookware because you need that beautiful, beautiful heat retention and you need the enamel to release the brown flavor back into the stew. So we've already browned off some additional meat. We're going to put this back in here. And here's another thing with cast iron. It retains the heat so well. You don't have to wait between batches to sear your meat because the pan is going to stay hot. You don't have to keep adjusting And look at the capacity. We're going to feel, we're going to feed an Eight army course. with that. So we'll see what this looks like once it's done. But another thing I want to show you before I lid this, this beautiful precision rim right here, we mill this onto every piece of cast iron. It's the same quality cast iron and enamel as the base and that locks right into mm. place. That's going to trap the steam, trap the moisture and give you the third thing you need with a beautiful stew is tender, tender meat, David. Absolutely. And low and slow. Let that braise for hours and it will make your house smell like heaven. Hey, let me tell you that over 300 of these are already gone. 300. And we're going to bring your camera back over here. I'm going to take you as you plate up that or bowl, um, 
uh, ladle uh, those bowls full of beef stew. Beautiful. They take you on a color tour. And these colors are amazing. You're gonna love these. So hang on. We'll talk to you about color and we'll talk to you about quantities because some of them are getting limited. They all come packaged in this gorgeous flame colored box. Whenever my Le Creuset arrives, I sit on the front porch. I don't care if it's three degrees outside. I sit on the front porch and open it like it's Christmas morning. And my heart starts to beat faster as soon as I see that, uh, that uh, flame colored box. This is Cerise which is the French word for cherry. This is Marseille. I have 150 now left in the Marseille. Remember, this is eight quart capacity. Look how big this is. Huge. That's a little um, Le Creuset booklet inside. Mm, love this so much. All right, so cherry, Marseille, marine. Fewer than 200, here's the Caribbean. 150. This is Soleil. Now fewer than 100. Down below is our cassis. This is oyster. And then finally, this one is our flame. Okay, 130 in the flame, 150 in the oyster. This is free shipping and handling, six easy payments at lookrosay.com right now. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> lookrosay.com, I think that's mac and cheese. Um, you're going to find that this uh, same vessel is $400. We're just over $100 less. We're six easy payments and free shipping and handling. Uh, Chef, is that what I hope it is? That is, David. So these vessels are oven safe. You can see all this beautiful mac and cheese. We're talking about Easter comfort food. You're bringing people over. This will keep the heat. So don't think that you need to finish this right away because this is going to stay warm. And look at how that cheese. That's easily seven quarts. Right we didn't fill it to the slab. We did top. not. That's easily seven quarts of macaroni and cheese. You think about it. Christina, I mean, do you think you could make seven quarts of mac and cheese <laughs> for your big Italian family? Have you made? Oh, this smells Christina delicious, Christina is my makeup artist, and oh. she is a great cook. And she has, comes from a big Italian family, and we always talk food when she does my makeup. Do you make big mac and cheese for holiday? Do you do, like, seven quarts? Great big pan. You do a big foil pan? Yeah. Put it in this, baby girl. And you could get, David, we're talking 16, 20, maybe 30 servings out of this. And I want to come here. Or just one for me. Or one for David. Mm. Look at this beautiful mm. whole turkey breast that we roasted mm. in here. This does double duty as a roasting pan. Wow, is that Think good? about a ham for Easter. Uh, I've done a bone-in pork roast in these. And I love this because you can sear it in the bottom. Put the lid on when you roast it, David, and you capture all that moisture in here. That turkey is going to be so moist and delicious after you cook it in cast iron. Mm. Christine, is that your handiwork? It's delightful. Christine is another one of our prep chefs. It does smell Chef delicious. Chef Steve is here too. Are you, did you make crinkle cuts for me later, Steve? You're a good man. It's an embarrassment of riches up in here today. Um, I have got all the great food. What to do for dinner tonight? I don't know what to do. I've had so much good food. I'll probably order Chinese on the way home. Oh, David. Well, <laughs> pizza, or I'll just take home all your leftovers. Or, or fried chicken, And look right? at this fried chicken, David. You can fry in this vessel, too. And, and folks, remember, we're talking eight-quart capacity. So if you want to be able to fry, you want to make sure you've got a vessel big enough to where you don't overcrowd the pan That's and right. you don't drop the temperature of the oil. So you dropped how many pieces I in dropped there? probably four or five whole pieces and of fried And did you let chicken. your chicken come a little more room temperature? We did, David. This is your down-home uh, fried chicken recipe. Oh, is this my recipe? This is your recipe. Oh, my word. I That's love great. it. And I love deep frying a cast iron for two reasons. One, the heat retention. So it'll keep that heat. If you want to do batches, you don't have to worry about uh, waiting in between. Do you see? It's 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 rock solid. It's not dropping. Not, it's not dropping at all. So and good. It, we're doing this on induction, David. All of our cast iron cookware is an induction safe. So and here's some pieces that have already been uh, fried off and, and plated. You know what you call that? GBD. Golden brown delicious. That's, That's right, David. <laughs> <laughs> now, right here, let's look in this pot because I want you to swing that camera right here, my friend. Check this out. We're talking. Tom is our cameraman today. Um, check this out. Game now, Tom, day chili. Shake that camera up and down if that looks good to you. Like nod with the camera. <laughs> That's my boy. All right, very good. Um, so, not like an earthquake, but we get the point. All right, so this is K47023. I'm kidding. But look at this. This is for the big game today. How many people are making chili for their big football game today, right? And David, I love doing chili in this. One, the capacity is amazing. You could feed a huge crowd with this chili. Beautiful chunks of meat in there. I love that. Look at those beautiful chunks of meat. They're going to be so tender. You leave it on the stove in the back on super low. 
This will maintain a low simmer. It'll be beautiful. It won't scorch. It won't reduce because the cast iron maintains that heat. And listen. You know what I love most about this? It's got the chunks of meat in there. I love that it's too not just in my ground chili. Meat, just chunks of meat. And what I do at home, I've only got a family of four, so I'll cook something this big, take advantage of the eight quarts of capacity, and freeze it for later, David. So I can just pop it out and have a meal ready. Maybe hopefully my team's going on to the game next week. We can save it to serve it then as well. Mmm. Do you have a favorite team in this final four? Uh, I, I, I do. Uh, well, not in this final four. My team did not make it, but I tell you what, my college uh, basketball team is number two in the country right now, and they're playing tonight too, so I might be watching a little bit of that game too. Oh. Serve some chili with that. Now, David, another one of your recipes. I just want to set this down right here. This is chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. So we have the soup base right here. And I love that you start your recipe by poaching the chicken on the bone in yep. the broth because it gets so tender. You can fit your whole chicken in this pot to make your broth, pull it out, shred it. You can see we've got the shredded chicken here into the soup base. Just like that, so you can do everything. You know, one of my now, daughters is homesick right now. I'll make a chicken soup just the same way with the whole chicken in there. This is just perfect for that. And I'll tell you, if you are a little short on time, you can buy a rotisserie chicken That's to right. shred that too. Absolutely so. right. And then we're just going to take these beautiful biscuit topping right on top, David. We're going to float those on top. You know, sometimes I'll do what uh, I call it a slippery dumpling, which is more of the rolled thin oh, dumpling. That's, those, I, and I make those most often, but these drop dumplings are very popular. It's so easy too. You can just drop the biscuit dough right on top. Mm. We'll float those in there. And then this is oven safe, but because the lid retains the heat so well, you don't always have to put everything into the oven. I'm going to mix match colors here a little bit. Lock that up, and that will poach the dumplings just fine without going into the oven. Hey, uh, Chef Nate, I'll tell you, we are very, very busy. I want to do one more, one final color tour. Then we'll give you an update on the number ordered. We'll remind you about our value. And then I'm going to ask our prep chef, Christina, can you hook up our crew with a little bit of the mac and cheese and chili? Because I bet Christina would like to try the mac and cheese. She's my makeup artist. And Tom, our camera operator, would probably like some of that chili. So we'll make sure everyone gets fed. Here is Cerise. Cerise is the cherry, the uh, French word for cherry. Uh, if you want the red, uh, uh, order the Cerise. This is Marseille. Fewer than 100. This is Marine. Fewer than 150. Caribbean, 150. Soleil, 75 left. Cassis, fewer than 100. Oyster, fewer than 100. And Flame, fewer than 100. This same vessel, all eight quarts at LaCrisse.com is $400. We are just over $100 less. We're six easy payments and free shipping and handling. We've now taken orders for. 800 gone. Wow. What is that? David, this is uh, a vegetable gratin. I, we just added some veggies to your tomato basil gratin. I just want to show people, you don't have to fill this all the way to the top, right? You can make eight quarts of beef stew or chili in this, but you want a weeknight side dish. This is beautiful eggplant, zucchini, and cheese. You fill it halfway up and pop it right in the oven. It works just like a I roasting pan. I have a pan. question. Why do I have to leave this room? I need to stay here and eat all of this. You can. Well, no, you, sadly, got some you got some work to do. I don't got you, some David? people that oh. are insisting I go other places. But before we do, I've got a trivia question oh, for you. You right. want to park that? I'm ready. So, Let's uh, do it. Because he's probably a little heavy. You go ahead and ask, David. All right. So I am making bacon wrap pork tenderloin today. Delicious. Your, que your question has to do with breakfast meats. Okay. Ready? Love them. What breakfast meat do Americans eat more 